With UNLV starting quarterback deciding to sit out the rest of the season after not getting paid $100,000 in promised NIL money, despite his team starting off 3-0, and then the four-string running back on the same team decide to sit out as well for similar reasons, I have to ask myself, what the hell are we doing with NIL money? This is UNLV. You're paying kids hundreds of thousands of dollars to play football at that school? What happened to kids playing for the love of the game and getting scholarships for free to go to school and get an education? This isn't Georgia. This isn't Alabama. This isn't Ohio State. It's UNLV. You cannot tell me the economics of paying players is going to weigh out in the favor of the school for what they bring in. So, I have a solution to this entire NIL problem in college sports because there is no way we ever go back to the sanctity of how it once was. But what we can do is approach this like a business, just like the Premier League does in soccer over in Europe. You have the top tier where all the best teams are, and then you have lower tiers of other teams who can be promoted or demoted. And the top teams, the final two at the bottom of the standings every year, they get demoted to a lower tier. Why don't we do the same thing with football? Because there is no way that the Ohio States of the world, the Michigans of the world, they should be competing against the UNLVs because Ohio State can afford to pay their team $60 million and UNLV apparently is screwing over their starting quarterback of $100,000, only giving him $3,000. So you have a power conference with all the biggest schools, the Georgias, the Alabamas, the Michigans, the Ohio States, the Oregons, the USC, and they all compete against one another and you have a salary cap of how much money you can spend to go after players and then you have a tier below that is the old college system where these players play for the love of the game and they get a scholarship but where it is get interesting is because these players they can build up the program and get to the next level now the only thing I haven't worked out in if these players do build up a program that can get them to the next level they're not actually going to be there to reap the reward of what just occurred. So how do we compensate them? But if we get these players on a contract structure where there is more parity within the league and it's a top tier and you can rise and go based upon the performance of your school, I think it changes college sports but makes it more interesting. So you don't have situations like this where UNLV is off to their best start in school history and then their starting quarterback just decides to leave because he was paid pennies compared to what the bigger schools are doing. Let's alleviate this all together. Let's just get old school college for most of these schools, then power conference where we're playing them, and it's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. We get the best games every single week in the power conference. The big boys going against the big boys. No cupcake games. It would be electric. And then you have the smaller schools that get to play against one another. Like my Minnesota Gophers, they don't belong with the power boys. They belong playing against the UNLVs of the world. I want to see that instead of them going into Ohio State and absolutely being hammered. Just a thought. That's Feeling Free with T for the week. Thanks for checking out my episode. Guys, make sure you subscribe. Thank you for everything. Thank you for the support.